Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about multiple dash lights coming on with the check engine light. And I'm going to tell you um, how to diagnose it and sort of why it happens. So you'll notice that in many modern cars, when the check engine light comes on, multiple other lights come on as well. It's not like in the olden days where just the check engine light would come on. You have like five, 10, three, two, however many dash lights coming on at the same time along with the check engine light so here's how it works in modern cars systems operate together and that's because of the technology that's involved with the car systems and the car features cars nowadays have a whole bunch of features and a whole bunch of different technologies um, so with that being said they have to use each other they have to work together okay each of those technological systems and features is like one little piece of the puzzle and when you remove one then it doesn't really make sense anymore so therefore if one system fails then others can't operate properly so if one of the systems in your car fails then multiple other sim systems um, will likely not operate properly and that's one of the symptoms that's what I'm saying there that's one of the symptoms of it so here's uh, an example um, if a sensor that detects your car's speed fails so there's something wrong with your car's a speedometer sensor maybe the speedometer still works but the sensor that's involved with sensing the car's speed if something's wrong with it okay then the forward collision warning system probably won't work as well because the forward collision warning system uses cameras along with your current speed to tell you when to brake to warn you when to brake so obviously it's not going to be working properly right it's literally as simple as that if one thing fails another thing's gonna fail as well and that's only the tip of the iceberg because there are multiple other systems and technologies in the car that won't work if the speed sensor fails it's literally like it's literally as simple as that another quick example if your tire pressure monitoring system is not working properly then your traction control won't work properly either because your traction control relies on the idea that your tires are at the right pressure that's how it senses when to kick in along with the speedometer and so forth but you know they all work together and you know your traction control might be called something else in the car that you're driving it might be called uh, VSA in some cars it all depends right I think that stands for vehicle state stabilization assistance I'm not hundred percent sure but I'm fairly certain that that's what it stands for but the point of the matter is that when one system in a car fails you know others probably will stop working as well and that's gonna cause multiple lights to come on as well so don't be surprised if you're driving a modern car and your check engine light comes on along with your traction control light or your VSA light and your tire pressure light and a whole bunch of other lights you know don't think that it's just your car don't think that something's massively wrong because it could just be one system causing the other ones to fail as well now here is one of the better parts of this right you know you're probably thinking one problem causes 20 problems that's kind of true but here's one of the positive sides of this uh, on a positive note when you fix that one underlying problem the other systems will probably work properly uh, once they're reset so if you fix that speed sensor problem Problem, then your forward collision warning system is probably going to work properly once again if you fix that tire pressure monitoring system problem well then guess what your traction control is probably gonna your vehicle stabilization is probably gonna work properly again so fixing the one underlying problem it will likely solve the other problems so don't be alarmed if you see like four or five dash lights coming on along with one of them you know if your airbag if your airbag light comes on uh, and your VSA or your traction control light your tire pressure monitoring light Light and your check engine light they're all gonna work together um, and you know with that being said like for instance your forward collision warning system might have a direct effect on your airbag system I don't know but it probably does especially in most modern cars so with that being said you know if you fix the underlying problem it'll probably solve the entire error right no guarantee but most of the time that's gonna be the case and that's it in this video I just wanted to address a simple topic and the topic is uh, about multiple dash lights coming on with the check engine light I gave you an easy diagnosis and sort of an easy solution as to why it happens and how you can try and solve it if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment and of course be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one and that's all I have for you today
Thanks for watching.